Hi everyone, I thought I would interrupt my holiday. As you know, I'm in Oz, a visiting family. Um, I thought I'd interrupt my holiday and talk about something that I think is, uh, well, it affects every single interior designer, um, but in a different way. And uh, what it is, is, um, well, it stemmed from really something that happened to me uh, like in the last 48 hours. And it was um, a comment that a troll made on my post. and. I think it's something that is really prevalent in the interior design industry about um, the fact that people believe that interior design is hard or it's hard to be an interior designer. And I think this kind of uh, opinion, um, and for some people it is hard, you know, for uh, people who typically go the traditional route of interior design, um, it can be really hard because they're not taught the skills that they actually need in the industry. And that can be really, really well, hard because you don't know what you're doing, um, even though you think you've done everything right by following the path that the interior design industry tells you to follow, which is, you know, go get a diploma or a degree and then uh, use your portfolio to magically get a job um, and then uh, learn the actual skills you need as an interior designer in practice. So that is the system that they teach. I obviously don't agree with that at all and because of that um, obviously I teach a practical interior design pathway and I teach the things that they don't teach me in the interior design school because uh, they're the things that uh, you actually need uh, to be an interior designer also the business side of things if you're um, going to be an interior designer um, who is uh, working for yourself rather than for somebody else which is uh, a whole other topic as you know um, because that is something uh, you know, there aren't that many jobs in interior design because um, most interior designers work solo and um, they have very small teams uh, and um, yeah it's just not how the industry is so um, or like the big firms uh, hire people like they did hire me you know the top graduates of the um, uh, of the year who get the pick of the pick of the crop and you know I was one of those lucky graduates who also was very privileged to get a degree but also who was very lucky to um, be chosen handpicked to work for the best firms and so that happens to a very select few people not to the majority and the majority end up you know being resentful and angry and uh, they say horrible things to other people like they do to me and um, especially to people who didn't go down the traditional route so um, especially those interior designers who are self-taught or considered to be self-taught and um, obviously the designers that I teach are those ones because uh, they're typically changing into interior design later in life and they're also those interior designers who um, typically mature age students uh, typically from diverse backgrounds so people who don't fit the mold and um, I think this is why I love that at the moment there's a lot more people coming out and being open about this and saying that you know all the things that we didn't learn in interior design school because um, these are the things that you're supposedly according to the industry and the interior design you know traditional system you're meant to learn that in practice and because of that uh, they don't teach it because um, they're the practical skills that you'll learn eventually one day when someone else teaches you the hard stuff basically so they teach the fun stuff which is the other oh, design the stuff you're never going to use and the stuff that is really irrelevant um, to the daily work as an interior designer especially if you're working in practice um, or especially if you get hired by somebody else because they're doing that part of the job they're doing the fun bits so um, you're not going to be doing them you're going to be doing the manual labor uh, which are the skills that you're not you haven't been taught there are a lot of people who won't listen to anything that you're saying they won't realize that it can be easy for other people so one thing I really love about the way I teach design and um, is well the result is that the attitude of my graduates is really different to the attitude of typical interior design graduates typical interior design graduates will find that being an interior designer is hard because they don't know the real things that you need to be a designer and the their focus of energy goes into the wrong place. Um, what I teach, and you can see it in the mentality of the comments of my students. Um, obviously, I stay in touch with um, almost all of my students uh, where possible, and um, you'll see they're all positive. They love their, they love being an interior designer. They, they're not the ones trolling other people's posts saying interior design is hard. They're like those 
you know, uh, top interior designers in the world who are busy uh, being awesome interior designers who say that being an interior designer is wonderful. It's, you know, there are certain aspects of your day that, you know, are challenging, like, you know, you have to be the kind of person, you know, especially if you're running your own business, you have to be the kind of person that deals with uh, a difficult situation, problem solving, um, managing uh, manufacturers, manu managing clients, managing builders, uh, you know, some who undermine your work as an interior designer. Um, but my interior designers are not people who give interior design a bad name. They're the ones who aren't trolling other people's posts and saying horrible things that interior design is hard um, because that's not their experience of interior design. 